He was the man, Christ Jesus. God did not die on the cross. A deity did not die on the cross. A pre-existent deity did not die on the cross. The Son of God, Jesus Christ, the only begotten of the Father. All right, welcome to the page. Love you, love you, love you dearly. Um, this will be another exposition. This one is important, okay, people? So I know uh, I do a lot of videos with the once saved, always saved, but this is just as important, all right? Uh, we can't just care for um, certain people in a certain group that are going to hell when they can be led astray by other groups that are just as dangerous, okay? So I'm exposing Gabe, the preacher here, um, as he stated, is that God did not die on the cross. God died on the cross, okay? Um, Jesus, the Son of God, um, God the Son, died on the cross, okay? If Jesus is not God, then which is what he's saying, because he um, wants to, he, de he denies the Trinity, okay? If you're not getting it. Uh, we're not going to go into too much details, no need to. We just need to go over what he's, he's doing and with his doctrine. That's why you need to watch out for these false doctrines, okay? Um, and reject them because they can send you to hell, okay? If you do not believe that Jesus is God, um, then you do not have forgiveness of your sins. You don't because you're trying to say uh, that God uh, is the only one that can forgive sins, but it's not Jesus, okay? And we know that Jesus is is God, and that he can forgive sins, okay? Uh, the Trinity is not a false doctrine just because uh, the word is not there in the Bible. It's descriptively explained, okay? And Jesus gave us the whole thing about it. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It doesn't matter if the words, uh, like Gabe says in some of his videos, I watched a lot of those concerning this. He says, oh, God, the son isn't uh, that, that phrase isn't there. OK, it doesn't matter. OK, is that the Bible is very clear that Jesus is God. OK, so it's not, as I said in my other video, which you can check out in the description below, talking about the oneness doctrine, the false doctrine of that. Um, the problem that you run into with this is that you are going to uh, end up doing what I'm going to show you here uh, is what he's doing is you're just pretty much saying that the Holy Spirit doesn't exist. You know what you are saying, OK, when you are doing that, um, you are no different than the false doctrine of the Jehovah's Witnesses, because this is actually what he's doing. And this is why he's going to go to hell if he doesn't repent. OK is that the Jehovah's Witnesses, they say the same thing. Same thing, is that in a, a, just in a different way. They say the Holy Spirit is just a force. This is the force of God, okay? And so they don't believe in the Holy Spirit in that sense, and that is wrong. Um, same thing whenever we say that the Holy Spirit, which I'm going to show you, like I said, is uh, the Father, it was what he says because he denies the Trinity, okay? The Trinity, no matter what you want to say, is the truth, okay? Is that God is one God. It doesn't matter if your pea brain can't understand that, okay? Is God is one God consisting of three persons. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, okay? Uh, these three, okay, are one. So this is non-existent. Son of God is in the Bible. God the Father is in the Bible. We do not see God the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of our Father, our, our God. 